North Carolina Prepper here. I want to do a video about freeze drying. I went ahead and cut some apples because they're the easiest to do and they dehydrate the best. But we're going to freeze dry these. Now you can just put them on a tray here and um, put them in your freezer like this and you're good to go. And you want to freeze them first before you freeze dry because you want to preserve the cell structure on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a uh, a dehydrator tray actually and um, go ahead and do that to preserve the cell structure now you could just leave it on the tray like this and um, they'll um, they'll dehydrate on their own in the freezer um, yeah so they'll dehydrate on their own it takes about a week like this after you're done you pull them out in a week and uh, they're uh, they're dehydrated. You just let them sit on your counter and you see if they turn black. That's how you know when you're done or not. And that'd be just fine. But I'm going to do the vacuum way with gel, silica gel. So let me go ahead and do this. Put this in my freezer and I'll be back in like two hours. Alright, it's after breakfast now, so it's been about an hour and a half. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in this, this mason jar and apply a vacuum to it and um, the water will sublimate out of the apples and I'll put some silica gel in there. I'll put this bottle in because this has the blue in there. It's a... Uh, <coughs> which is probably cobalt and a heavy metal. They said it's 100% silica gel but something dyed these things blue. You could just easily put it in there and then put a... Uh, a towel or something over to keep the apples off it, but I'm going to see if I can just uh, fit the bottle in there like that with the stuff packet around it. I'll try that. So let me stop this and I'll go ahead and do that because i got to figure out how I'm going to do it. Alright, that's one apple in there. The silica gel is separated from the apples. I just put it in, with the jar, turn the jar aside and put the thing in there, the apples. Okay, so I'm going to put a lid on here, this is from the other video. Uh, this lid has been used previously. I'll never trust it for canning again, plus it's got dents in it. But I will trust it for vacuum sealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, uh, my canner lid on there, for the car, jars. And go ahead and pull the vacuum. <laughs> vacuum on the jar. I'm not going to turn it upside down, but there's a vacuum on there. I'll put this in my deep freezer, which I think is minus 10 to minus 20 degrees zero. And all the water will supplement out of the ice in the um, apple and go to the silica gel. In two days, I'll check the gel as well as one slice. And I'll do that on video, but I'll, uh, or maybe a couple days. I'll, I'll set the slice out next to a clock and we'll time it for 20 minutes and I'll high speed that video. And if it turns black, it needs more dehydration. If it doesn't turn black, then we're good to go. Alright, so thumbs up this video, and uh, please rate and subscribe. This is uh, Freezer Canning at Home by North Carolina Prepper.